Hey YouTube, it is still a junkie 07. It is Thursday, June 19, 2012. I want to just show you items I'm still loving. This is normally how I do my face these days, and it may look like I have nothing on, but I actually do. What I have on today is the CoverGirl No Lay Simply Ageless Serum Primer and the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation and the shade I'm wearing is 09 Tan. And so that's it except for Inglot Blush. Yes, I am still on Inglot's lap. <laughs> the shade I'm wearing on my cheeks today is this one right here, number 36. And my brows today, Tarte Brow Pencil. I don't know what color it is, and I keep looking at it, trying to see if it has a number or a color. And I'm not finding what it is. And my color perception is off because to me, the color of this looks purple. To me it does. But this is what's on my brows. It's not purple. It, the color's not purple. But the color of this, to me, looks purple. But this is what's on my brows today. So that's it. And then I'll just put on whatever kind of gloss. And so, if it's um, really hot out like it was today, it's been humid, it's raining, we have like isolated thunderstorms, this is all I do to my face. Primer, powder foundation, brows, and gloss. If it's a so-so day and it's not too hot but it's kind of sunny, I am still using and loving the CoverGirl No Lay Tone Rehab Foundation and Base. And this color is 157. When I'm more tan, I'll use the 160. But right now, I'm still using the 157. And it looks almost empty, but it's still some at the top. This is an airless pump. I love it. And I do actually have more. Thank you, um, Sabrina, for sending me all those coupons. <laughs> and I will set that with the CoverGirl No Lay um press powder medium deep and the number is 360. sometimes i wear this by itself but it doesn't give me as much coverage on its own as the nyx does and so when i wear this foundation um i top it off with this to set it and then of course an inglot blush any one of these depending on what my mood is and i do have another inglot um, blush quad um for eyebrows I always and forever use the Tarte. I do also have their brow gel, um, but sometimes it's quicker for me just to use the brow pencil. And of course it has the spoolie on the end. I'm still using and forever probably will use and love the Buxom Bare Essentials Inside Eyeliner. I used to just use the Sapphire for my upper and lower waterline because it does make my eyes pop. Lately I've been in the habit of using the Sapphire up and lower waterline and then on top of that, I put the blue jade, which is green. And it gives just that hint of green where, you know, sometimes you see it, sometimes you don't. And there's times I don't think I'll, I see it, and my sister will be like, oh, that green looks pretty. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so it is noticeable in a really subtle way, and I think it's really, it's really pretty. When I use the blue jade by itself, it doesn't show up on me which is why I put on the sapphire and then put the blue jade on top of it and then it shows up. I am still loving the liquid eyeliner from Lorac. This is the only liquid eyeliner that I can work with. So if you're a liquid eyeliner challenge like me and you're like, I'm just giving up on liquid liner, try the Lorac. The first time I tried it, I'm like, wow, I didn't think I could use liquid liner. And it is really easy to use. And it is called Front of the Line Pro. If I'm not wearing eyeshadow, I'll use the dark brown because it does show up, but it's not real, real heavy looking. When I do wear eyeliner, I use the black. I also tried the charcoal, which is like a medium shade, kind of grayish, but it doesn't really do too much for me. And so I'll just use the dark brown with no eyeliner or black with the eyeliner. And those are the basics of what I've been using. Um, when I do go out, out, I will put on eyeshadow, of course, Inglot, yes. Um, but so these are the basics that I use CoverGirl CG foundation, CoverGirl CG pressed powder to set that, or CoverGirl CG primer, NYX stay matte but not flat powder foundation. Either way, Tarte 
brow pencil or their brow gel buxom inside eyeliners which is for me the only liners i can use on my water line because i do have really sensitive eyes and i wear contacts and i have no allergic reaction to these i've been using these for years and years and years so if you're sensitive to things like i am the inside eyeliner is perfect and it's specifically made for your inner rim and the Lorac front of the line pro liquid liner and anything in <laughs> their blushes and their shadows so thanks guys for watching bye